Hey everyone and welcome back to Poppy Seed Mini. Today we're going to be taking this pink kitchen and transforming it into this. All right, let's get started. So here's the set we got off of Amazon that we're going to be remodeling. And I wanted to just show you what exactly is inside the box. Okay, we've got the stove here and the kit includes extra pieces like this one has a pot and a pan and a spatula and a spoon. We've got the hutch piece here and that includes a couple of cups hanging here. There's lemonade and drinks and some other extras that I think are meant for the fridge. Nice. Check out that sticker. Modern kitchen. That's just what you want on here. <laughs> you got the fridge and it comes with a couple of ice cubes and a clear cup. It's got racks inside that pull. I believe they're meant to pull out. Maybe they only pull out the back. It's got a freezer drawer. That one. We've got the sink cabinet here and it comes with some utensils that are hanging from the little hangers up here. It's got the nice sink with the faucet. And then up here there's um, more pans and plates and some cups and silverware or salt and pepper from the look of it and some more. And the last thing included is your dishwasher which has a basket inside and your microwave. And then that has ugh, stuck on there. A little toaster that actually pops up and down. So that's pretty cute. Um, some coffee cups, milk, and some other extras like soda and juice. So that is what is included in the set. Safety glasses on, folks. It's, it's demo, demo day. day. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take everything apart and remove the stickers. We're going to start with the hood. We're going to push it inward and then pull up. And then there's this little thing right here. Use a screwdriver to disconnect the button. Clip the two tabs and pop out the plastic like this. And now you have your pieces and we're going to pop these out. And you're just going to use your fingernails and they pop right out. And this one's going to come out this, I think it comes out this way. No. Uh, be careful when you <laughs> pop this one out because it landed, I think, in my pocket. I have to find it. <laughs> yep, it landed in my pocket. Okay, now we're going to just take this thing here and we're just going to clip these because we're not even going to use these. So I'm going to clip them out right now. Oh, I scratched myself. And then you're just going to pop that back in there. Now I'm going to take the two top doors out and I'm going to go from the top and you see how easy that was. There seems to be one knob that's easier than the other. So you see how easy that was to pop it out. And then you're going to go back and very carefully push with your nails and it pops right out really nice. We'll do both of them. There you go. See, simple as that. Now we're going to take this one out. And I think it's this side. There's one side that's easier than the other. There it is. And then go in. You got two this time. So you're going to be popping out this. And it seems like once you pop the one out, it just pulls out really nice. Now we're going down to the door. And I'm trying to think. I think it's this side that pops off. Yep. And then again, go in and pop this one off. It seems like the it seems like 
This darker plastic's a little harder to get out, but it does pop out pretty easy. There you go. And then we're gonna take out the plastic. Now, this is the hardest part to do. There's two knobs on the bottom here, and I don't know if we can see this on the film. And you're going to want to push down, and there's two spots, and it's right right here and it pops right out. And then again, just go in with your fingernails. These pop out pretty easy. And if they don't, you can use a flathead screwdriver to do it. Just like that. The other thing you have to do is there's this little spot right here. There's a little glass spot. Now this all depends if you're gonna paint the inside. We're gonna do the painting on the inside. And also, I usually take out the cardboard in the back. And that just pops out. And then just pull. And there you have your stove all prepped to be painted. And now for the refrigerator, we're going to take all the doors and pull out this and take the back off and take out the grates for the refrigerator because they come out the other direction. And I gotta remember which side goes for, there we go. Now we're going to disassemble the sink. What you're going to do is just come in and pull up and just pop it like so and it comes right out. Then we're just going to, again, just take your doors, just pop them, pop them. And this just pulls right up and you're all done, you still have this little little handle right here to pull out, and that's it. And then pop off the back if you need to. Well, we're going to anyway. This one doesn't want to come out. And there we go. For the dishwasher, we're going to remove the remove the bottom one, remove this, and then underneath here there are buttons. And it's probably easier if I go from the back. It's coming out. Ah, I got to do it from the back. go. And now for the microwave, pull from the top to get the bottom out. Pull from the top. Pull from the top. And then pull this off. And then pull your paper out. Before I paint, I very carefully remove all the stickers, and if you do it nice and slow, it will most of the time take up um, take up all the residue. But you have to go slow and be patient. As you can see, some of this is coming up, so I'm going to start at the other side, and you see this side is pulling up better. And I'm just very carefully going to remove these. And it takes a little while. If you do have any residue, you can always use Goo Gone to take it off. 
and you can see that I have some. It didn't come up very nice. Now we have this piece that really doesn't fit into our kitchen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top off and I'm going to put wood on the top and make an island out of it and add two chairs to it. I'm going to start by removing the top and the doors. Yeah, this one might end up being at the bottom. You have to check your kitchen set. Some, there we go. Um, I'm also going to remove the sticker on this one. And I might have to get something to, oh, here we go. Well, it is not cooperating. So we'll do that later. But now I'm going to take the back off. And then I'm going to show you a new saw that we've been, we found that you can cut this plastic really easy. I have this saw. Now these are really sharp, so be careful. Um, I'm going to remove the, the thinner blades here and I'm going to literally cut this apart and it doesn't take too much time at all, but I'm going to have to get a piece of, piece of wood to stick under here so I don't cut my board. Okay. So take your saw, and I'm going to get it started here. This one's a little different than the one I have at home. It's already off, and see how fast that was and how nice it cuts. Now I'm going to turn this over. And I'm going to cut from this way and I'm going to do the same thing. And one nice thing about these saws is that they fit really nice in here. Now you just have to get it going, this little spot right here, and then start cutting. It's already through. And now I just have the last piece. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come through here spread it apart and I'm going to cut these two little pieces out and then the next and now I'm going on to this last piece and there you have it so now that you got it cut off we're going to take the um, utility knife and I'm going to just trim off the excess little pieces here and you'll notice there's a little rise on this side and that we're going to have to build up with wood. So it's going to be completely covered with wood and then I'm going to build it up. And I'm just skimming off that that little bit that's right in the front. And be very careful because you know using knives. So we pretty much have this and it's pretty much the knife does a really nice job that, or I mean the saw, does a really nice job of cleaning that up. Okay, next we're going to look over our parts and we're going to look for tape that got left on from having that plastic um, pieces that they had taped on there. And you're going to want to take an alcohol wipe and you're going to want to wipe that off. And if it leaves a little residue, use your fingernails and kind of push it off and then wipe it again and that'll get it all off. And then what we're going to do is I have these different type of sand sanding pads that I picked up um, from Amazon. And we're going to sand this and scuff it up so that the paint holds where you don't have to use a primer. So I'm going to start with a 60 grid and I'm just going to go over and just slightly sand it. I made a mistake. It says 600 grid. You don't want to use a 60 grid. That would be a big mistake. So just kind of scuff up your piece. Make sure you get every spot. I know it seems kind of strange to scuff this up, but it makes a big difference. 
Now this piece, we're going to, um, I'm going to take this little piece off here. Eh, maybe I'll just leave it on. Um, I'm going to tape over here and tape, the, no, just, I'm just going to tape this. This is going to stay white, but it's going to make a difference to paint it white. It gives it a whole new effect on how it looks. Now you're going to do this on each piece and then I'm going to come back with like a thousand grit and make sure that it's nice and smooth. And then you're all done there. You're also going to want to check and make sure it's all smooth. And this one is really nice. Feels good. Okay, now we're gonna take the front of the stove. And as you can see, there is flash along the edge here. So I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna just trim that off. And I'm gonna check any other parts, go along the back. There's a little piece right here. And there it looks pretty good. Now again, I'm going to take take my sand um, sponge and I'm going to sand this up and scuff it up. There you go. And you do this to all the rest. This this little piece right here. This is the drawer to the stove. And as you can see along the edge, there's a lot of flash. So make sure you cut it all off. Come back and check to make sure it's smooth. There's also some big ones in the back, which not going to affect your piece, but you're going to want to make sure the front is looking normal. Whoops, there's a lot more on this side. Now just take your sandpaper again or sand sponge. You can use sandpaper, but it doesn't work as well. It likes to rip when you're doing all this stuff, and this is an easy way to sand your stuff up. Next, I'm going to take this alcohol wipe, and I'm gonna wipe down each and every part. This will get the sawdust or the plastic dust that's on there, and, and it'll make it so it's ready to paint. And then after that, we'll tape things off and then we'll start painting. So I just wipe every little piece down, all the sides, just wipe it down. This way it dries really quick and you know you got a nice clean surface that doesn't have oil on it. Now I'm gonna take paper painter's tape and I'm going to cover up the vent and then we can start painting. There we go. So make sure you get it all completely covered and then it's ready to paint. Okay, next we're going to set up our paint tray and we're going to start with doing the back side of each of our pieces. So all you have to do is fill up a tray and I like to use a cardboard box and just set them up and then we're going to spray, spray the back side and we'll do the other side afterwards. And they're going to get like two coats. So just to let you know, we're going to take these outside and spray them because we don't want the smell in the house. And that's why we do the trays so we can carry them back into the house when it's at the right time. Now I'm going to take this out and spray paint it. I'm using eucalyptus spray paint. We're going to give it two coats, so... Ah, mosquito! Okay, I think we're good there. Next, we're going to take 
all the little handles and we're going to set them up so it's easy to spray. So what I like to use, I use Lost Kitty clay and I make little balls. And it's kind of nice because this stuff likes to stick on this. And then I just pop my little pieces right in there and they don't fall over. So I get get um, get like two going here to do the big ones. And just set them, set them up so that they pop in. And this way you can spray both sides at the same time and not have to come back. Next, I'm going to add these few extra pieces. I'm going to put some stuff down that I'm also going to be painting gold. And one of them is the sink, so I'm just going to set that one there. And also the sink handle, and I'm going to put that over here. And next, I'm going to spray them. I'm going to prime these first, and then I'm going to paint them gold. I painted all the rest of the parts white. I had to give it several coats. Each time I gave it a new coat, I brought it in and made sure it was smooth. And if it wasn't, I used a 600 grit sander and sanded those parts off and then gave it another spray. Now take your handles and pop them back in. Do this to all your pieces. There we go. Now take your piece and we're going to put them on, put the doors on. There we go. And then last, put the top ones on. Next, we're going to put in the panels on the back for your refrigerator. There is a top and a bottom on these. Then, what I did was I took and put cardstock on top of this piece that came out of there earlier, and then I'm using the white on the back. So you just pop that in. And then you have your refrigerator. If you used air clay, and it got hard, you're going to have to clip it so that you can get these out without breaking them. Now take your pieces and pop them in place. Now take your glass and pop it in. Oops. 
Make sure you get it the right way. Next, we're going to take your sink cabinet and pop in the hooks. Add the last handle and pop in all the doors. Now, this is an option. You can either just put the sink in like so, or I use a piece of wood and I'll have a cutout for you if you wanna do this. To make the kitchen countertop, I use this wood plank from the Dollar Tree. This is a soft wood and it's easy to cut. We have this pattern for you. So cut it out, trace, trace it on your wood. I just used my X-Acto knife to cut it out. It was that easy. Once it was cut out, I stained it and I covered it with Mosh Posh. To get the printables for this build, you can go to my blog at poppyseedmini.blogspot.com. And I'm gonna put that on. And then just pop that in. First, I'm going to put the first. I'm going to put the fosin on first, and then just pop that in. There you go. I wanted a decorative backing for the cabinet with the glass doors, so I used double face tape and some scrapbook paper, and put that on the back. I also used the scrapbook paper for the backsplash. I just measured it and cut it to size and then used my double face tape to put it on. Okay, now I'll assemble the dishwasher. Now we're going to add the stuff to the microwave. Now let's assemble it. go and then you'll stick on the backsplash. And this is your basket. I cut a two and one fourth by four and one fourth piece of wood for the countertop. 
I stained it and I covered with it with Maj Posh. I am going to stick it on with double face tape, but you could also use glue to glue it on. Okay, next we're going to put the stove together. We're going to start by putting all the gold pieces in. This piece got broke, so I'm going to have to glue it. I'm just going to stick it in for now. Next, I'm going to put in, I know it's around here someplace. We're going to put this in. And you see how much trouble I had getting the other one in? So kind of pull on these, like so, to get them in, and then pull to pop these in. And they all popped in just really nice. Next, we're going to put in these little um, dials. They just pop right in. got some came some of the gold came off you can actually use acrylic paint that comes in a bottle and touch these up so there we go now the last one is going to go in like this and it has this little spot right here that it fits in get it in here like so. And that's going to be your button to turn your light on. And when I um, take it out, I cut out the sound on them. You just have to cut the little um, thing that that makes the sound. So, and of course I ended up chipping it. You can, like I said, use the acrylic paint to fix those things. Then we're going to take and put there's this little piece right here that goes right in here that just pops in. And then this is going to, I'm gonna tape it down with a little bit of tape. Now you don't wanna tape over this little light because there's, there's a light bulb right in here and that's gonna light up. Now you're gonna take this and it's going to go, I should probably do this first. It's going to go right on here. It's going to just pop right in here. Remember, we'll need to screw that little screw back in. Then you can pop it in. Make sure the light works. if I got it on there all the way and I don't think I do so so make sure you check that Let's see if it works maybe this one didn't have the batteries in so anyway stick it in and it's pretty easy to pop it in it just goes in like this the hardest part of this whole thing putting it together was this piece right here and it is very difficult to take out and we'll see how hard it is to stick it in there did it go in right it might be right it might not be let's check it it looks right so then you're going to put in we're gonna, before we put the door on here, we're gonna add these little pieces of black paper just with um, double face tape to make the, the inside black. Let's see what I'm doing. There we go. Now, for the inside of the stove, 
I cut out a piece that matched this. And then I used this to make one out of black cardstock so that I'd have a nice looking inside of my stove. So you just take and use double face tape. Okay. And then just plop it in there and push it down. And now I'm going to put it in. Put it on the stove. Oh, wrong direction. Let's see. Can you see that? Let's see if it made it all the way in, and then you have that. And then what I'm going to do to the back here, I cut out another piece of black, and I'm going to double face it on here, and that's going to go on the back. And then that's going to slide right in here. And this one, you really do need to slide it in. Anyway, that's what it looks like. So you have your inside of your stove done. Put in your oven racks. Tape on the backsplash. Now, just to let you know, this gold here, I couldn't spray paint it on, so I used folk art. Now, this is copper. I didn't bring my gold here today, but anyway, you can buy this in gold and then just paint it on. You need like five coats. And again, you can use that gold to touch up anything that gets scraped off when you're putting it together. Then you're going to pop on the next piece. I'm going to see which one it is. And that's just going to go on like so. That one on. Then I'm going to take another piece. I'm using this piece from up here and I'm going to tape that on and then add it to the back. And as you can see, this one is in farther than the other ones. So you really have to work it in. Let's see if I can get it in here. I'm going to leave it like that for now. Okay, to make the coils for the stove, I use this jeweler's tool and I just wrap it around very slowly and just work it. Just keep going around until you get the size that you need for all four burners. And when you get it to the size you want it, just take your other tools and just clip it off and then finish it off. And there you have it. And here's how it looks with electric stove. Now, I painted these copper for a different project. So um, I would paint them either black or gold. We added decals for you on our printable. Cover each one with clear tape.
and then cut them out. I use double face tape to stick these on. Go, go ahead. You can either stick it to the front or the inside of the door. We decided to do the inside of the door. I also used a gold Sharpie to color certain spots gold. That's good. There we go. For the island, I painted it white. Then I used a piece of foam core board, cut it to size, and placed it in. I'm using double face tape around the edge and a piece of cardstock to give it a nice finish on the back. Now put your doors in. I used two skinny sticks to fill in the gap to even it out before I painted it. I picked up this paintable sign at Walmart. It is a five by seven uh, piece of wood with a nice trim around the edge. And I use this for my countertop. Then I cut three inches off, and now I have a four inch countertop. I stained it and covered it with Maj Paj. Now I'm going to take the glue gun and glue it on. It needs a couple bar stools, but that'll be in another video. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Poppy Seed Mini. We hope you enjoyed this in-depth tutorial on how to make this kitchen. Don't forget to check out some of our other videos. We hope you'll like, comment, share, and subscribe. And have fun crafting.